Hello and welcome people, this is Dark Forest Shadows here with my first introduction video. I am going to be covering a series of videos detailing, logging, listing, outlining my basic equipment needs for the outdoor environment. I'm UK based, I'm not here to compete with anybody, I'm here just to show you my varied approach towards the outdoor environment. Today we're going to run through the EDC keychain that I carry and follow on with my bout system and winter summer pack out. Some people may think this is a little over the top however I'm not here to compete. I'm just here to run through and show you my equipment and this here is the carabiner it's off of a lead lenser I use this, it's a good secure fastening mechanism. My first dog's choke chain, which I've made into a loop. I use this to loop over my hand onto my wrist. I find it's a more secure method for carrying if need be. I can also unclip the carabiner onto the chain to extend it into my pocket if it's clipped onto my belt system. Next up, everything with regards to the equipment is clipped onto, or should I say hooked and looped onto this oval screw gate mylon. A very robust mechanism. I know it's not going to come undone. I know there's weight fanatics and gadget fanatics out there. But sometimes keep it simple and it works. And that's what I'm generally about. I like the multi-purpose use items. And it, yeah, it works for me. I'm not going to bang on too much. I basically use for the keychain system an elastic. as a hank here. Um, and the reason I use the elastic is it's a hook and loop system so I just loop it under and then hook it through and what happens is it latches on it's detachable I know it's gonna look a bit messy and cluttered so to speak but it works for me and I can pull the elastic taut and it holds it in place I got here is a little SOS whistle. I cut this off of a chest buckle on my off of my Terranova 20 litre laser day sack. Excellent um, day sack. I'm sure you'll come across it. But yeah, this serves a purpose. If I'm out with the dogs, they respond to it, so it does the job. Next up, I have a pencil here. Just shaven and sanded down. Drilled a small hole in the end. Can't really see it. I apologise for the camera. Again, I don't tend to use a lot of writing in the field. I just keep it on there just in case, if need be. Again, you could use it as a feather stick for fire starting. You could even do a micro sundial with a shade and all that for navigation. Uh, again with the elastic this can stretch out so far just give you a bit of space just to do some riding if need be uh, next up I have a diamond sharpening rod it's made by Buck and it's an American company I just took it out of the plastic housing and attached it like so I'm not into the full on hunting and trapping side of things and all that what not because of the laws in the UK however I was fortunate to grow up when I was younger when the laws were a lot different so I was able to experience that side of things so anything on here is more suggestive gimmicky rather than used to a certain degree but it's there in a dire situation I guess 
again I'm not a knife fanatic I'm like a American brothers over there with all their super weapons and god knows what um, this is just a true utility small lock knife I do have a mechanism to undo these small screws in my utility kit but yeah it's just general wear and tear for work does the job again it's where you draw the line with not necessarily the money side of things I'm not a millionaire don't get me wrong but this does the job and it sits on there moving on because I'm out quite often with my doggies I use a fire straw Vaseline cotton wool fire straw here just to have a brew let them run riot or even for initially lighting my campfire whatever it's just on there and replace frequently I have moved away from Vaseline into coconut oil but I shall explain that later on I guess next up this one's on a little key loop chain thing it's um, 8 to 10 meters of cheese wire there, a bit of duct tape wrapped around it and again you can use that for various things as you know uh, moving on I've got my lead lenser K2 I know there's a K1 it's got a clear o-ring here and you can stand it and it illuminates out but it's where you draw the line um, I draw the line when the equipment serves its purpose and actually performs and does its job and this thing I've had it a couple of three years now has served its purpose I've taken this clip off of a P3 a lead lens of P3 I just stuck it on the end and the reason being I like to um, slip this up my cuff when out and about at night time it's handy I can clasp my hand to diffuse the light and I don't know it's there, it just sits there. So yeah, it deserves its little place. Still got the same batteries in it. Um, I do have a spare shooter batteries I like to call them. And these yellow rubber grommets just cut down. And you can see the four bumps in there. So I know that I got a backup set for that. Uh, moving on. I just got part of a fire steel I don't need all the handle just place it down put your finger on top and just gently scrape some of the magnesium off into a little dust pile and then it should ignite it's each to their own but this works for me it's small I don't even know I'm carrying it and yeah I guess I'm a minimalist to a certain degree but yeah does the job this here is my first pen knife uh, had this when I was around seven it's known as a fruit knife in the UK it's a polished pearl uh, made in England nothing too spectacular however it's sentimental to me so rather than all the family photos I just need that small little tiny pen knife on there that's enough for me um, here I have three needles two different threads a quick access needle stitching splinters um, you can do the magnetized compass with the leaf water and a little float but yeah I do a lot of modifications to my equipment so a needle and thread is always being used uh, next up it's just a basic it's not a coin stash it's a bit more slender it's just a bog standard capsule anything stored in there I just tend to keep oh sorry seven or eight water purification tablets Let's see them there 
yeah, it's just something there. If need be, some people would say, well, why do you need um, survival style items on a keychain in an urban environment? I would say, well, you never know. And some of these items I have actually used quite often. So, again, I'm not getting drawn into the battles of who's better than who and all that. It's just about sharing and, yeah, it's a passion and pastimes. I mean, this is more of a gimmick, especially for the UK. However, I know what I'm talking about to a certain degree. It's just a small fishing kit. Only temporary taped it just for this video. Again, it's the yellow grommets, which can be used as a float. And in here I've got some shot sinkers. Two different lines, about 10 metres. I think this one's a six pound line. Um, and in here, again, about 10 metres, but two to three pound line. Nothing spectacular. I'm not going shark fishing or nothing. Some more of the shot there. And also, if I can focus in. If you can see that, let's pull it out a bit. There you go. Three hooks in there, just to go in that. It's more of a gimmick, but if I'm out with the kids, um, it's just something to keep them occupied. But yeah. This is my keychain. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. As I said, I'm not here to be competing. I'm just here running through my stuff. But yeah, it's a good old bunch. It fits in my hand alright, and it's still wedged into my jean pocket, even with the domestic keys on there. But yeah. That's what I carry every day. Apart from one last item, which is on a neck loop. And I made this small pouch for it. And what we're looking at here is an ESCO number no. 9 made in Austria. It's an old ammunition bullet lighter uh, it's from the shells and the bullets it's World War One it's authentic legit it's not about money uh, there's very little information about this particular one I have come across another one online which was a 29 and yeah it's a nice slender lighter serves its purpose it's round my neck every day and yeah it just gives a bit of variation to the modern equipment side of things I like it um, so yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you later